agenda for the period here on Media General. Uh, no bed syndrome. Joining us on the telephone right now is Gabriel Benaku, who is the chairman of the Coalition of NGOs in Health. Mr. Benaku, thank you for your time this evening. Now, the, the Ghana Health Service is saying that this no bed syndrome uh, is under control. That's the expression they use. From what you've observed, is that the picture on the ground? Okay. Thank you and good evening, Ghana. Yes, we are aware that the six months ago there were crises all over the country, and the Director General actually assured Ghanaians that they were going to work on it. I want to state categorically that it has not been worked on it, and uh, especially this week I moved from Jirapa, Laura, to Tamale. And this evening I'm in Sunyani. And I do know, as part of my monitoring, we have, especially the public hospitals, we still have problems with, especially emergency cases are not managed properly. And if they are after 24 hours, they still have crisis of how they can accommodate people. What it just means is that uh, people may not receive full attention and they are discharged. I and see. they can go with complications and uh, may have other effects. And so, as we keep on saying, the coalition has made a critical proposal that the Ghana Health Service needs to have a comprehensive analysis of the patient inflow, outpatient inflow, emergency inflow in every government facility. Create that database. Let your MIS or your IT guys are able to manage that so that they can give you a clear incident on how you can project and have a long-term plan to solve the problem. Well, if I did hear, if I did hear uh, Dr. Siasari, well, he, he did indicate that they've actually done this comprehensive analysis as part of the hard lessons that, that the GHS, that's Ghana Health Service, uh, lent as a result of this no-bed syndrome some six or seven months ago. But the plan is not ruled out. What are the lessons learned from the analysis they run? Have they ruled out the plan? What is the current situation on the ground? And if you pick 10 public hospitals, what will be the situation? I see. But for, at least this is something that we're observing, and I want to find out from you if it is the case. Eight months ago, when this whole Nobel syndrome was, was a big issue across the country, we had people donating beds, you know, government intervention, and Ghana Health Service itself. Is the problem capacity or just lack of beds? I want us to differentiate between the two. The problem is just more than bed syndrome. The problem is leadership. The problem is financing, and the problem is supervision. These are the criti critical things. I want to assure you, let's finance every district hospital properly. Let's build the capacity of the leadership in the district properly. And let's provide them with the necessary logistics properly. And let's see how they will be much more effective than before. I see. Dr. Banako, I want to thank you very much for your time this evening. Extremely grateful. Gabriel Banako is the uh, Executive Director of the Coalition of NGOs in Health joining us there.